Mint Control is designed to provide a small footprint introduction to the area control and action selection genres that is fun and rewarding to play even for seasoned gamers. First, shuffle the location cards and randomly add locations to the game area until there are at least five influence token spaces per player. Put the remaining location cards off to the side. They will not be used in this game. Place the five action tiles near the location cards. This is the selection pool. Place the mint tokens near the location cards. This forms the mint supply. Each player takes two mints from the supply as their starting currency. Each player selects a color and takes the five influence tokens of that color. The player with the freshest breath starts the game with the starting player token. Each round, the starting player will select one of the available action tiles and place it in front of them. They will then perform that action followed by its perk. Then, in clockwise order around the table, each other player will perform that same action. However, they will not perform its perk. After every player has had the option to perform the action chosen by the starting player, the next player in clockwise order will choose one of the remaining available action tiles. This process repeats until each player has selected one action tile. After the last player has chosen an action and it has been fully processed, return all of the chosen action tiles to the selection pool. Finally, the starting player token passes to the next player in clockwise order and a new round begins. Actions. The earn action gives players mints to spend on future turns. The perk for selecting this action is to gain an additional mint. Mints are a limited supply. If there are not enough mints in the supply, then the player gains as many as they can. If none are available, then no mints are gained. The influence action allows players to pay mints to add an influence token to an open influence space. The perk for selecting this action reduces the cost to influence a location by one to a minimum of zero. By using this action, you can control a location and gain its special ability. A player is considered in control of a location if they have the most influence tokens on it. If more than one player is tied for the most influence, then no player controls it. The oust action gains each player one mint, similar to earn. However, the perk for oust is to spend one mint to remove any one influence token from a location. They then can spend an additional three mints to oust another influence token from a location. The second token can be on the same or a different location, and the same or a different player. Any player ousted from a location gains the ousted bonus listed on that location. The Presence action grants each player the Presence bonus for each location where they have influence. The perk for this action is to also gain the Oust bonus from a location that the player controls. A player has influence at a location as long as they have one influence token on it. They do not need to control it. The Scavenge action does not provide an action for all players, only the player that selected it. That player can choose to gain one mint from the supply, or steal one mint from another player. The game ends at the end of the action in which at least one player has all five of their influence tokens on locations. Players gain points for each location they control. The player with the most points wins.